Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. All right. Let's try Japan. Have we heard of a band called Nemophila? Never. All right, let's do it. Nemophilia. Nemophila. Nemophila. Okay. <laughs> Come on, it's not that hard to say. Jeez. <laughs> so you might hear me call Ron here, my buddy Ron Kroom, boss. That's because he was my boss. Sorta. <laughs> I'm Poison. We toured together on Poison. If you want to hear the quickly of why I called him boss, you can do so in the last reaction, which was him reacting to the band Nightwish for the first time. You guys can check that out here if you're interested in doing so. So, who is Ron Krum other than working for Poison? Who has he worked for? Ron's worked for the Eagles, Guns N' Roses, Maxwell, Kiss, Garbage, Brian Adams, Puff Daddy, Seal, He's also been on the Family Values Tour in Ozfest. He's a bro. I still talk to him on a regular basis. I dig this dude. I hope you guys do too. Let's get into this and see what you think. Also, lastly, I just want to throw a quick shout out to Steggies.com. Thank you, Steggies, for sending me some cool swag. The shirt I'm wearing in this video is from them, and they obviously sent me a couple beanies. They're very comfortable. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's jump into this. Okay, so this is a band called Nemophila. They're a Japanese band, they're all female, and they were recently here in the United States touring. This is actually recorded very recently here in California. I haven't watched this either, and it's The Trooper, Iron Maiden. I figured you would like this. I don't know, hopefully I'm spot on. If not, I really don't care what you think. <laughs> okay, are you ready? All right, let's go. All right, let's do it. quick question for you when you're doing a concert do you prefer when you're watching as a spectator the bands talking or the songs uh yeah i prefer the songs you do oh okay the talking a, joke, was a lot of times you can't understand the talking if you're you know if it's a noisy crowd or that is true, actually. And a lot of them love to do that. They love to split. And I get it. You're resting your voice or whatever. So you love to talk in between or they're trying to do a set change. They're trying to do something. So they stop yeah. and talk. But a lot of times it's like, do you hear what the guy's saying? I don't know, really guy's saying. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's when you go get a beer. It's a perfect time to get a beer. Good call. Very smart. Good job. Hope you're not drinking beer. Yeah, all right. I was going to say it's too early for beer. Bad boss. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's hear the song. Let's do it.
Hmm. What'd you think? Uh, 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 interesting. That, that's interesting that they're all all girls, all all women. Uh, I love uh, one of my favorite all women groups is Lady Zepp. I don't know if you know them. Um, so the guitar players shred. Um, it's very technical. It sounded. Uh, uh, oh, you know, it it, made, it it was it was good. I mean, they they nailed it. But yeah. I, I really think the bass player worked her ass off on that song. I I just kept I just kept going back to the bass player, just constantly just plowing through that song, spot on. That I thought yeah. that was amazing. The drummer is actually a brilliant too. Uh, that recording didn't make her sound as good as she really is. Yeah, I was going to say the drummer was was really kicking it the whole time. She's incredible good. Uh, it sounded a little muddy, but that was just because it was a phone recording, and I didn't realize uh, that the singer wasn't in on this because she's killer. So maybe we'll have to do an original track. If not this round, we'll do it a different round. But awesome, Ben. Then you'll get a bigger picture of there really are something special. They're, I think they're great. So um, I mean, I, th those guitar riffs that they were doing aren't easy, but they they made it look easy. They're good. They're good. Yeah. yeah good. All right. Let's try Mexico. Have we heard of a band called The Warning? Never. I have, have not heard of The Warning. Okay. No. Let's do it. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.